other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. And we aren't playing Super Mario Maker or Yoshi's Island or Mario game right now. So, what I wanted to do before I start coughing all over the place is explain my absence, what I've been doing, where I've been, stuff like that. Let me move off camera real quick, make sure the uh, TV audio is paused and you can hear me. Uh, Audio is there, we are live, we are streaming. We haven't streamed in forever. And while that's been negative, um, my attitude towards uh, a certain convention I went to was also negative. Uh, I figured this game dropped on sale for like five bucks. It's called Negative. <coughs> there, there's the coffee. It's called Negative Nancy, okay? So hopefully this isn't too negative an experience. The premise of this game is you're just saying no to everything. How would your life be if you just said no. Saying no is very powerful. Here is uh, the first memento that they forget, so I guess they're like in movies. Uh, so let's check this out. Reading time, we want, don't want it to be long, we want it to be the fastest. And we might only do the first episode, we might do more of them, I don't know. I might just do this one and play the rest offline. I really just wanted to use this opportunity to talk about what happened at Galaxy Kong Raleigh, okay? Because at first I was like, eh, let's not put that negative energy out there. And I'm still not going to, but I still felt like I wanted to talk about it to get it off my chest, okay? First and foremost, press B to say no before the timer runs out, okay? You're pressing that. Press A to say nothing. You, refund counterwoman. I want a card. Uh, I've been saving for years, waiting until I see. Ooh, maybe this is maybe this is too fast. Let's um, hmm, reading time. Let's put it on fast. Okay, resume. <clears throat> and when I use this at the Mega Mart, they told me it was expired. I need to return this gift card so I can use the money to buy another gift card. No. No. I want to speak to the manager now. Okay. Is everything okay? No. It's not. You're being a Karen. No disrespect to anybody watching a Karen. Unless you are a Karen. Which, you know what I'm saying. Good, well I'll be back. Okay? Alright, I don't care. I know that look, Nance, it was your, it, you think it was unethical for me to pretend to be the manager, right? No, I don't really care. Okay, I got tomorrow off, good. Wish I had tomorrow off. No, I'm not going to the staff meeting. Megamar's terrible, but surely they're not going to ask me to work over now. Yeah, okay. So here's your douchebag manager here. This is clearly like some Walmart type job. Retail can be hellacious. <laughs> Alright, so while he's being a douche, let's just talk about other people who are kind of being like Alright, look. I've been vol volunteering at GalaxyCon Raleigh for like five years, back when it was called SuperCon and all this other stuff. Great experiences. Uh, Y'all know this story. Uh, I can barely talk. I got my teeth straightened. Uh, but before then, LASIK surgery, met Charles Martinet, Juan Carlo es Giancarlo Esposito, uh, William Shatner, uh, voice from Beauty and the Beast, uh, the guy from Cobra Kai. All these names are escaping me now because I'm kind of on the spot and playing this game at the same time. Uh, just a lot going on. So prior to that, I went to a rock concert. Mudvayne, Static X, Power Man 5000, Rob Zombie. And, uh, the lead singer of Mudvayne was kind of like a pastor at a church. We all go to church, we've been to a church where they're like, get up and greet your neighbor. You know, he was kind of feeling that way about not being able to get out here and perform because a lot of people needed music to kind of stay functional, to stay keep from going to a, a, another level, you know? If you had a, you've had you been in a bad mood and you put on a song that matches your mood, it might keep you from 
being confrontational and doing the wrong thing that can get you in a lot of trouble, which is his point. And I felt that, but my mistake was, hey, still in COVID, people are still out here sick and don't care. And I was shaking people's hands, hugging. I was in a mosh pit. Yes, I was in a mosh pit. Felt like I came down with something after that. Wasn't sure it was COVID, <clears throat> but I felt like I came down with something. I still have this lingering cough as a result of it. Um, and clearly I'm saying no to all of this stuff. I think he's going like, to give me a nickname. Oh, there's a bank robber in the background. So I think no matter what you do, uh, it's always going to play out this way, but we'll see. So look, uh, went from that to the following week, Galaxy Con. And I was not going to miss that for nothing. I was taking any kind of vitamin C, any kind of vitamin D, anything like that, because I felt like I was low vitamin D. Um, just being African-American, one, but two, being in the house for like two and a half years. Wasn't getting sunlight, making Pokemon Go videos from the house. A lot of things changed. I didn't realize vitamin D, the lack thereof, can make you sick. You know, it's working your blood cells, your white blood cells, your immune system, have stomach problems as a result. And I was like, you know what? Maybe a lot of what's going on with me is because of that. I started taking some vitamin D. So anyway, uh, I'm much better. Had like broke a fever and a little bit of sweating. Um, it was horrible. I'm not going to sit here and pretend. I still went to work and everything. And I know you're like, well, why'd you do all that? You could have got other people sick. I stayed in my office the whole time, sanitized doorknobs the whole nine. I started a new gig, so that's the whole lack of video. Oh, look at that. Some kind of mouse or something. I'm just ignoring everything. Maybe it's a different game if you don't say no. Oh, this thing bit me. So you go to the hospital either way. Yes, I've played this before on the computer. And it looks like if you chose the other path, the bank robber asks you for some money. And they confront you. And you just say no and you end up getting shot. Here, you go into that extra room possum or whatever this thing is bites you and it, the end result is the doctor and the nurse getting it on because they think you aren't aware of anything <clears throat> so we'll let them do their thing uh, hopefully you're of age to watch this kind of content i know this isn't what you may have signed up for you're like this isn't mario you know, that's a common thing when i stream this isn't mario uh let's see what the chat box says is DJ Khaled in the building? I forgot all about him and nothing else. So, because we hadn't streamed in a while, I might have forgot even all the commands or whatever. I felt like it was this. DJ Khaled once said, Bless up, egg whites, turkey bacon, hash brown water. Khaled knows I'm hungry right now. So, anyway, uh, yeah. Maybe two, three weeks since I've streamed. Probably three weeks or longer. And, oh, the controller is vibrating. Are they messing around on top of my bed? Gross. Have some respect. So, look. Uh, yeah, three weeks before then, because I was busy. Then getting sick. So then I ended up going to this GalaxyCon. And they changed management. Yeah. People I've been working with for the last five years who made it cool, made it feel more like volunteer work. These new guys made it feel like I was actually working at Mage Mart or Mega Mart. Made it feel like I was working at a subway or something. I'm like, I don't get paid for this, so chill with the attitude. I'm trying to make it more fun. They being new, to be fair, didn't know what to expect. One dude who was kind of mansplaining the entire time. This was his first job being in this position he wasn't in guest relations or anything like that prior so he was just kind of shoehorned in there and the way they laid out the lines was weird they should have laid them out in a way that it has accessibility for everyone to kind of be there and not feel congested i mean we're still in a pandemic and they want people to be like sardines in a can that wasn't right but that was part of what i had to do <coughs> excuse me 
manage these lines. It looks like this is just gonna keep going, so we'll just wake up. Hopefully they at least finish what they were doing. Probably not. Uh, here's the doctor right now. From the waist up. Oh, there's the nurse. You were attacked by a possum, but No. I mean, attacked by the possum is better than getting shot. No. No, I'm not really confused either. Uh-uh. No. Okay, so the more negative you are, the faster the story progresses. But less negative things happen to you. Like, again, the possum is better than getting shot. Uh, you know where you are. Yeah, I know where I am. Okay. I'm not going to say no and make them think I'm crazy. Okay. I'm not going to thank you either. So this dude was just kind of a Karen in his own right. Just trying to micromanage the event. Made it feel like I wanted to just hurry up, do my time, and leave versus actually being there. Giancarlo Esposito, I named him earlier. Nicest person that you could meet at these conventions. He, Even though that he does photo ops, he still wants to take pictures and sign. and He has fun with a lot of it. I feel like he remembers when people weren't really checking for him like that, so he's thankful. You know, he was in some of these Spike Lee movies early on. He's Moff Gideon and Mandalorian. There's rumors of him trying to become Professor X in the X-Men whenever they reboot that, these, these Marvel things. Uh, Gus in Breaking Bad is where I really think he took off recently. Uh, so, yeah. There was a, a situation where some guys came up with their own camera. And I didn't know how to work their camera. I've been using phones for the whole convention, and that's usually what I'm used to. Uh, they wanted me to take this picture, and you had to hold down on their camera. I'm no idiot. I work with cameras all the time, but I don't know your specific camera. Uh, tried to take the picture. It wouldn't take, so we had to do that three or four times. He got irritated. And he couldn't take the picture himself, so I think he felt a certain kind of way when I was like, see, it ain't just me that's messing with the camera. And they got somebody else to use, you know, come back. He had some girl that he had had Thursday through Friday, uh, or Thursday through Saturday, and wanted her back, and so she came back from whatever it was she was doing, and they replaced me. So I was in my feelings about that, which is why I didn't immediately get on here and talk about it. I felt like I didn't want to throw the con under the bus or feel upset with, you know, Giancarlo, but it, it is what it is, you know? Uh, still a nice person. They didn't, you know, say anything bad about me to where I couldn't come back or I had to leave the con or, you know, anything like that. I was just, hey, his preference. So, uh, they were simpatico, maybe he knew her, or who knows? It's, it's not for me to really worry about it anymore. So, yeah, two weeks, three weeks later, I'm talking about it now, uh, just to have said something about it, because I felt like there were some of you who were new to the channel, to, you know, YouTube, who subscribed, and I met, and I never really got an opportunity to really have closure with it and share how I was feeling with you. These new guys weren't even really looking to take care of y'all in the way that there were spills on the ground, drink spills, and I couldn't go leave my station to go clean it up. I tell the, the guy who's running it, he's just taking his foot and dragging it on the ground. He wouldn't even leave to go get some napkins. Somebody could have slipped. It could have been a lawsuit. They weren't interested in any of that. And I felt angry. There was a girl who, uh, she was wheelchair bound. Motorized wheelchair. You know, a small, you know, I don't know if what the term is for somebody who's little or whatever, but uh, she was in that situation and they just kind of threw her in the corner. Didn't let her do anything. She was a volunteer just like, you know, everybody else. And I think that's when I kind of was like, if it's like this next year, I'm probably not coming back. I still haven't talked to anybody at the convention yet. I do plan to and let them know my feelings like, What's his name? I don't even remember the dude's name. It's kind of good because I don't want to crap on him. It was his first go around. But if he's back, probably don't want to volunteer. I had some friends come out and show some love. They bought some of the books. 12 Principles to Instill in Your Youth. If y'all still haven't, uh, check me out. I don't have a copy of the book right here, sadly. But, uh, on Amazon, 12 Principles to Instill in Your Youth. 
You should see it. It's by your boy. That's another way you can show love. You can do it through Patreon. You can do it through watching the videos and subscribing. We've got the memberships on YouTube now. And then I've got the Merc. We've still got t-shirts and everything else. The links are on my YouTube channel in the description. So check me out there. Um, no, I'm not forgetting. It, it looks like you can let the game play itself. But... You still have to say no to something so people know that you're paying attention. But I'm not amnesiac, so I don't know how this is going to play. It's this lady again. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh no, I remember you. Yeah. Funny thing is, um, so I, I, I said everything I needed to say at GalaxyCon. Again, shout out to those of you who came by and supported, bought books, took pictures and everything. Oh no. Um, <clears throat> funny thing is, there was a lady I knew at the Dollar Tree here who was very cool, you know. She might have had a record and everything, but no. she never had, I never noticed, I never had any bad vibes for her. She ended up stabbing somebody at a... No. A local restaurant around here and I finally ran into her uh, uh, she works no. in a different place now but she gave me her side of the story and everything it's weird it's like no. you think uh, <clears throat> can you be pushed so far <clears throat> to where you become either this Karen here or Nancy <laughs> Have a mega No. No, you're not getting an apology received. No. 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 This guy is gonna put me in a position where he's like, hey. I've got to either get fired or... <clears throat> no. No. Like, I'm asking for a vacation. No. No. So, <clears throat> again, to recap, was already uh, doing other things, concerts and stuff like that. No. Ended up feeling sick. If it was COVID, no. I don't know that it was COVID. But I'm feeling much better now. Had the lingering cough for over a week, <clears throat> and it went from coughing every like two minutes without a cough drop to now no cough drops and maybe every seven minutes. <laughs> I don't actually know, but. I'm okay. So we've had a crazy year, just a crazy summer between the AC messing up again to uh, mice getting in the house, uh, yellow jackets getting in the house, uh, changing jobs again. Uh, the videos have not been fluid like I want them to. And so just keep all that in mind when you're like, what's been happening? No. I hear like a baby and all kinds of stuff. And people screaming. What? What in the world is going on here? Is it this possum again? No. no, I'm not gonna do it. Yep. Yeah, why don't the manager do it? <coughs> yeah, he's supposed to <coughs> go down with the ship. Oh, it's just a rodent. Okay. See, this game, although basic, is encompassing everything that I was talking about. People who are Karens, uh, the negative 
mindset, the rodents that I'm, you know. Oh, she got messed up. All right, I'll cover this. Yeah, <clears throat> we do. The end. Look at that. Amnesia badge came back to work. Okay. <clears throat> so we did that first part. Um, let's just do the next part. And after this, I promise we will go from negative Nancy and jump on to some Mario. I know we're on Skunk Punk's world or something like that. Uh, I do want to check that out. Okay, start your own fashion. I don't really care. Uh, Frank Pusher coming at you a lot. Okay. Huh, good thing I was born money. Okay. Some douchebag. Some Jake Paul looking guy. There's <laughs> little <laughs> trash, bro. Unsubscribe from life. See, I never talk to you guys that way. But, again, please subscribe. Um, it helps the channel out. I wish that was a stepsister. Really? <clears throat> oh, wow. See, I, I believe this is rated teen. This is why we decided to do it on Twitch. Maybe YouTube will still accept this video if I upload it. Don't do it. Ooh, not you, I'll stick my car. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Destroyed her. No. No, you don't suck. <laughs> wow. One game I do want to recommend, though. I'm not recommending this, even though this was five bucks. Sorry. I think it was worth five bucks, though, for the simplicity of it. I think anybody could really enjoy this. Uh, but for the 14 or 15 they asked for it, I know they put in the hard work for it. I would not have bought it for that. Would not have. Uh, so it's on sale right now on the Switch. I'm not sure what other platforms it's on sale on. You know, PC has different sales all the time. No. Uh, but the point is, there's another game I'm playing called Stray. Man, that's a good game. You get to play as a cat and do things and solve puzzles. I think that was worth the 15 or so. It might have been $20. It wasn't that expensive, but uh, I'm excited for it. I'm playing it. Uh, have not streamed any of it, though. I think that's just a game I'm just playing on my own. No. Oh my gosh, this guy's getting on my nerve. <clears throat> no. Beat up that subscribe button and assault. Have y'all assaulted the bell on the YouTube channel? Are y'all even watching the YouTube channel or just on Twitch? So what, is she and I going out? I don't remember this episode at all. <clears throat> I think if you get shot, you do something different from this. Maybe you end up in some amnesiac club or something. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. The 
she's like your best friend, I guess eventually we'll end up quitting. Oh no. 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 I don't want to do any of these things. She's looking at me like right Yes. Sure. No. Okay. She's still talking. <clears throat> so what I like is it's like a choose your own adventure type of thing. That's what I liked about this game. And I thought it was funny to say no and see how that plays out. See how many different directions we can go. So that's what the whole narrative here is. You're so hilariously poor, like, in the video. But, oh, wow. <clears throat> so is this the same dude or somebody else? Oh, okay. Pancakes would be nice, man. Uh-uh, no. 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 All right, fine. Probably a prank. He's not gonna buy. Yeah. <coughs> Oh, wow. He just went full douche on him. Just this chair. I don't think I'm fooling in the frame here. Now I'm fooling in the frame here. Yeah, just leave. It's on a positive note. Uh, I was messing around with my speaker here on the computer it has a short in it. I was able to get that. I end up switching it with the TV upstairs, seeing if I could use that as a sound bar. Didn't work. Maybe because it has a short in it. The speakers I bought to work as a sound bar, they are working like they were. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Finally got it to work after a week. I was considering taking it back. <laughs> Yeah, I actually do. <clears throat> okay. This is all wacky. Maybe they rotate the different episodes around based off of how you behave. <clears throat> that could be how this game works. I should have said no. No. <laughs> Oh, Is it a pr it's a prank? <laughs> Crazy. something <clears throat> no. no it's not your fault yep. okay so is this episode <coughs> excuse me is this episode man? he's in the car oh did she kidnap him Yeah. 
he still has his hands free. Oh, here comes the cop. No. Are they? <laughs> I'm going to jail because of this. I accidentally pushed no. I should have said yes. Go left. No, don't go left. Kids, don't do this at home. Oh, wow. <laughs> like how many inscribed? No, we don't want to go to prison, but whatever. <clears throat> pulled over anyway. <clears throat> no. Huh? Yeah, that's kind of true. Huh. What's up with this dude's neck? <laughs> So they did lock him up. <laughs> Upload schedule. <clears throat> this is why if you get sick or locked up, in his case, you've got to have videos out front. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to end it here. There is a third episode. Influencer's phone. Okay. Um, we're not going to play. I would like to save, but I don't think that there is a save. Just play. A day to forget. Like, comment, and deride. The manager of my manager. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you guys for watching. We're going to end it here. I'm sure there's like, I don't know. If we go here, it looks like there's room for one more episode. So if I go to load... Why can't we save? There should have been a save option. That's weird. Um, there's no title screen or anything like that. Maybe I have to do all of this stuff over again. If I close the game out. <clears throat> Either way, we'll figure something out. If, it, if it's a pain to do that to get through all this again, probably not going to stream any more of it. If there is only one or two more episodes, I will pick back up and play the rest of it. I'll probably spoil myself and look on the internet and see how many more episodes are left. But anyway, we're gonna end it here. Love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share. YouTube.com slash Captain Sensation. Please support your boy there as well as here on Twitch. 
I'd be remiss in telling you to beat up that like button, beat up that bell. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Stay tuned for some more Mario Maker. The Yellow Hat Guys.